Hello everyone. I am Balaji Rao. Welcome to BR Max class. In this class, we will learn 10 integration formulas. They are integrals of trigonometric functions with reason. Why? See, we will take the first formula integral of sin x dx. Integral of sin x dx is minus cos x plus c. In previous class, we learned the definition of antiderivative. There, I explained this more clearly. However, I want to give why integral of sin x dx is minus cos x plus c. I want to give reason why integral of sin x dx is minus cos x plus c. It's a simple thing. See, you differentiate this right hand part that is derivative of minus cos x plus c. You differentiate. In differentiation chapter, we know how to differentiate this. Derivative of minus cos x plus derivative of c. Derivative of minus cos x. You take minus outside. Derivative of cos x. Derivative of cos x is what? Derivative of cos x is minus sin x plus derivative of constant. Derivative of constant is what? 0. So what you will get? You will get minus of minus is plus. You will get sin x. So, if you differentiate this minus cos x plus c, what you are getting? You are getting sin x. That's why we are saying integral of sin x dx is minus cos x plus c. I discussed this more clearly in class 1. If you want to know that more clearly, you please watch class 1 of integration. Now, we will move to the second formula that is integral of cos x dx integral of cos x dx integral of cos, d, cos x dx is sin x plus c why the same reason if you differentiate this right hand side part sin x plus c you will get cos x this is the simplest differentiation so i'll try to explain here see we will differentiate sin x plus c how to differentiate sin x plus c derivative of sin x plus derivative of c derivative of sin x is cos x plus derivative of constant is 0. So, because of this reason, integral of cos x dx is sin x plus c. Now, third formula. Third formula is integral of tan x dx. Integral of tan x dx is logarithm of secant x plus c. Here I written modulus of secant x. The reason is logarithm is defined only for positive real numbers. That's why I written log mod secant x. Simply we can say log secant x if you remember that secant x is positive. So here why integral of tan x dx is log mod secant x. Why? Here I'll differentiate this right hand side part. That is derivative of logarithm of secant x plus c. If we differentiate this, uh, derivative of logarithm of secant x, this part how we will differentiate? We use chain rule. See, integration you can understand only when you are good in differentiation. The chapter integration is also known as anti-differentiation. It is important to have good knowledge in differentiation chapter to understand integration. See how to differentiate derivative of logarithm of secant x. I use chain rule differentiation. You imagine the secant x as x. Then it looks like log x. Derivative of log x is 1 by x. So what you will write here 1 by secant x into derivative of secant x. Derivative of secant x is secant x into tan x. From chain rule we are differentiating this. So secant x, secant x will get cancelled. So you will get tan x here. Derivative of constant is 0. So that equal to tan x. So when you differentiate logarithm of secant x plus c, you are getting tan x. That's why we are taking this as a formula. Integral of tan x dx is log mod secant x plus c. From now onwards, we use this as a formula. Now, we will see the next formula. That is integral of cortex dx. Integral of cortex dx. Integral of cortex dx is 
log mod sin x plus c. Why integral of cot x dx is log mod sin x plus c? Because if we differentiate this right hand side, see differentiate, you imagine this sin x as x, derivative of log sin x is what? 1 by sin x into derivative of sin x is cos x. So cos x by sin x is cot x only we are getting. If you differentiate this right hand side part, you are getting cot x. Because of this, we are saying that integral of cot x dx is log mod sin x plus c. Now we will see another two formulas here that is integral of secant x dx. Integral of secant x dx is log modulus of why we are writing log me log whenever log is there we are writing modulus the reason is logarithm is defined for positive numbers only that's why modulus of secant x plus tan x plus c why why integral of secant x dx is log mod secant x plus tan x plus c if we differentiate this see uh, d by dx of uh, logarithm of secant x plus tan x. If we differentiate this, you imagine the secant x plus tan x as x. So derivative of log x is 1 by x. So what you will get here, you will get 1 by secant x plus tan x into derivative of secant x plus tan x. Derivative of secant x plus tan x, that is derivative of secant x plus derivative of tan x. Derivative of secant x is secant x into tan x plus derivative of tan x is secant square x. You observe in the numerator, we can take secant x common. If you take secant x common in the numerator, what is remaining in first part tan x? In second part, secant square x is there. As you take in secant x common, another secant x will be remaining. So, divided by secant x plus tan x. You observe, if you cancel these two things, what is remaining? Secant x. So, if you differentiate logarithm of secant x plus tan x plus c, you are getting secant x. That's why we are saying that integral of secant x dx is log mod secant x plus c. Now, we will see the sixth formula in this integrals of trigonometric function. See, sin x, cos x, tan x is over, cot x is over, secant x is over. What is remaining? Remaining one is cosecant x, integral of cosecant x dx. See, integral of cosecant x dx is log mod cosecant x minus cot x plus c. Why? The same reason above, you differentiate this logarithm of modulus of cosecant x minus cot x plus c, you will get cosecant x only. Now, you observe here, we learn integral of six trigonometric functions. Integral of sin x, integral of cos x, integral of tan x, integral of cot x, integral of secant x, integral of cosecant x. We take these things as a formulas. With these six formulas, Another four easy formulas are there. Now we will see what are those four easy formulas. Okay. Uh, integral of secant square x dx. Integral of secant square x dx is tan x plus c. Why? What is the derivative of tan x? What is the derivative of tan x? In differentiation chapter, we know this formula integration. You can understand very easily when you are good in differentiation. Derivative of tan x is what? Secant square x. So integral of secant square x dx is what? Tan x plus c. What is the reason? Why? Because if we differentiate this tan x plus c, you will get secant square x. That's why we are saying that integral of secant x dx is tan x plus c. And next formula is integral of cosecant square x dx. Integral of cosecant square x dx is minus cot x plus c. Why? You differentiate this right hand side part minus cot x plus c. You will get cosecant square x. Because of that reason, we are saying that integral of cosecant square x dx is minus cot x plus c. 
From now onwards, we take these things as a formulas. Now another two easy formulas are there. We will see those two formulas also. Integral of secant x into tan x dx. Integral of secant x into tan x dx. See from differentiation chapter, what is the derivative of secant x? Derivative of secant x is secant x into tan x. That's why integral of secant x into tan x dx is secant x plus c. And last tenth formula in this set, integral of cosecant x into cot x dx is what? Is minus cosecant x plus c. See, if you differentiate this right hand side, minus cosecant x plus c, you will get cosecant x into cot x. Because of this, we are saying that integral of cosecant x into cot x dx is minus cosecant x plus c. I hope you are understanding these things. See, uh, first we learn integral of sin x dx. Integral of sin x dx is minus cos x plus c. Like that, six integrals of trigonometric functions we learn. After that, we learn integral of secant square x dx, integral of cosecant square x dx. Integral of secant square x dx is tan x plus c. Integral of cosecant square x dx is minus cot x plus c. Integ and then we learn another two formulas. Integral of secant x into tan x dx is secant x plus c. Integral of cosecant x into cot x dx is minus cosecant x plus c. Actually, I divided these integration formulas into three sets. In first set, we learn 10 integration formulas. They are integrals of trigonometric functions. I hope you understand this class. If you like this video, please share it with your friends and subscribe to my YouTube channel to get more updates. Thank you.